Hi, welcome to Yovi's Home. In today's video, I'll be sharing five reasons you should vote from abroad as an American expat. Originally, we did not plan to monetize this video, but given the absolutely horrifying events in the United States surrounding George Floyd's murder, attacks on peaceful protesters and journalists by the military, the violence and systemic racism towards people of color, Dan and I want to donate all of the AdSense revenue raised by this video to Black Lives Matter and the National Police Accountability Project. If you want to help, please watch this video all the way to the end and give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Also, don't skip the ads. More importantly, share it on your Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, Instagram, or whatever social media you use. The more people who watch this, the more money we can raise for these two causes. We are not a big channel and don't have a big budget, but we do want to add to this donation and encourage you to share this video. So for every 1,000 views that this video gets, we will add 1 euro to the donation, up to 100,000 views or 100 euros. Please also register to vote by mail if you live in the United States or if you're abroad and qualify, check the links below on how to vote from abroad. If you want to donate to the causes yourself, the links are in the description box. So why don't we put on our marching boots and join our fellow human beings in the fight against racial injustice? I'm really glad you're here. So the first reason that I think that you guys should vote from abroad, that we all have an obligation actually to vote from abroad is because Many, 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 many Americans will never be able to leave the States and to visit another country outside the world. The fact that you are living in another country and having the experiences of how that country is run and comparing it and contrasting it to how things are run in America gives you a really, really special experience that many others don't have. Through that experience, you're able to look with more critical eyes at the situation and really think, is what's happening politically right? Is it wrong? And with your vote, you can answer that question. So your experience with living outside of the United States is the number one reason, well, not number one. These are all equally important reasons why you should vote from abroad. The second reason why you should vote from abroad is because, because voting in the United States is not really a right. It is a privilege. There are many, many people living in the United States who are not able to vote, whether that's because their states have certain ID requirements or perhaps because that person at one point in time committed a crime and is now no longer eligible to vote and is no longer considered a person, you know, an equal person to someone else, even though they've served their time already. You as an expat still, even though you're not living in America, you are able to use your voice still. And I think this is an obligation that we have to use. We must use our voice because there are so many people already in the States who wish that they could and they can't. So there you go. Number three, the number three reason that you should vote from abroad is because it is freaking easy. It's easy, okay? I promise you it is easy. If you open up the description box of this video, and I will even leave it in the pinned comment below, there is a website, it is bipartisan, so I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, or whatever else you are. This website is for everyone to use. You fill in a few details about yourself and what state you were living in last or which state you intend to return to. And this website does everything for you. You then get an email with exact instructions and everything else. So it's super easy to actually vote from abroad. The only thing is that it takes time. It is not, it doesn't take you time to do it. It's, it's a quick process, but it takes, you have to do it far enough in advance is what I'm trying to say. So with the no, um, election being in November, you are seeing this video in June, go ahead and register. Okay. Just go ahead and register now or whenever you're seeing this video, because the process closes at a like a certain number of days before the election, or 
if you do it too close to the election, they're going to say, well, now there's not enough time for us to send you all the things that we need to send you. So please just go ahead and register. It's easy, easy, easy to vote, easy to send in your ballot afterwards. And yeah, it's great. Number four. Well, I hope that number four applies to everyone who's watching this. If you're living outside the United States, most likely you are tired of being embarrassed by the current president and how he's handling his stuff, okay? If you're like me, when people ask you, where are you from? You have to take a step back and just be like, okay, I'm from America, but I'm not a Trump supporter. <laughs> That is literally, that is literally what I do. <laughs> but maybe you're not that same way. If you're a Republican, I'm not hating on you. You have absolutely every right to think what you think. But I highly doubt that if you are living outside of the United States and you are watching what's happening through the lens of an expat, I highly doubt that you're a Trump supporter. So um, if you are tired of being embarrassed by the current president, then that is a really good reason for you to cast your ballot, to register to vote from abroad and cast your vote in November, October, September, whenever we can. <laughs> Going off of a little bit of what I said earlier, now this video, again, I'm sorry if you're Republican and you're watching this, it is, it's fine that you're a Republican. I just, there are Republicans that I've liked in the past. It's just this one that I don't like, okay? Just Donald Trump. I do not like him for many, many reasons. So we're going to talk a little bit about him here. When you don't vote from abroad and you don't exercise your right and obligation to vote, that is basically casting a, a vote for Donald Trump. Okay, so when you don't vote, when you abstain from voting, you are voting for Trump. You are voting for the, the status quo. Is that the side of history that you want to be on? Is that something that you endorse? Is that something that you're okay with? Because if you, like me, are looking in, in horror at what's happening in the United States right now under the leadership of Trump, I don't know, if I didn't cast a ballot I, I would just feel like if he got elected again, I would I would not feel entitled to criticize and um, give constructive feedback, hopefully, about how things are going in the States. Because when it really, really mattered, I didn't cast my vote. And in not doing that, I feel like that's just something that then you should maybe not really be talking about politics or engaging in politics if you are not doing the one thing that you need to do, which is use your voice at the time that it matters. So please, please do. The number six reason that I think you should vote from abroad um, as an American expat is because even though you might think, you know, I don't live there now. I'm not sure if I'm going to go back. I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But this election, the outcome of this election is not going to matter for me. So I don't need to vote. Not true. Okay. It is not true. The decisions that are being made by the administration that is in charge now are going to have long-term, long-reaching consequences for all of us. So maybe you're a parent and you're, you have a small kid, but in 20 years, your kid might want to go back to the United States and study because as an American, they'll be able to do that. And, you know, universities are great. Why not? But do you understand that the decision that you make by not voting is going to have an effect on what's happening even when your kid in 20 years is going somewhere else? Or policy, like policies also that are being handled by the administration now, they might affect the country that you're in down the road. So they are far reaching and long term. So we must use our voices when we can. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate any time that you spent with me. But more than that, I appreciate the time that you're gonna do to click the link and register to vote from abroad. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.